At the age of only 27, our first guest is one of the biggest movie stars in the world. Her films have earned more than $5.6 billion. Her new movie is called Red Sparrow. I love this movie. Please welcome Academy Award winner Jennifer Lawrence. Hey there. Hi, hi. The audience is so well lit. I feel like I know all of you. Yeah. <laughs> No, I like when we started the show, I thought they should be part of the show. They shouldn't be in the dark. They should be as lit as we are. So we actually like include it. them in the show. Okay, cool. That's uh, on purpose. It's. Do you want it's me a to turn? It's scary. Okay. No, 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 it's okay. Do you I not want to see them? No, 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 it's fine. Just keep smiling. Okay. <laughs> be supportive. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, first of all, the movie is fantastic. Portia Thank and I you. loved it. We watched Dang. it and said, this is like a good old fashioned spy thriller that the way movies used to be made. And I, yeah. I just love it. I think oh. you're great in it. And I think the movie is fantastic so I highly recommend it I Thank think it's fantastic so and it comes out today so now you're officially on vacation yeah and uh, you have an alter ego when you go on vacation yeah I can't I can't go on a vacation right now because like I just can't ha I can't deal with Gail like at the I need to rest before Gail okay why um, did you name her Gail I didn't um, she almost named herself I think my girlfriends probably named her Gail mm -hmm. just by the way she, by the way I look, I, I, and it's a very specific drunk, too. It's not just like every time I'm drunk, I turn into this, you know, I, I think she's like some sort of like tortoise scambler or something. Like, I don't, I don't always turn into this masculine alter ego that like jumps into shark, shark ridden waters just to make my friends laugh. My friends were like, that's like too far, Jen. Like, no, not funny. It's not every time. I think it might be rum, which is what I brought up. <laughs> to Colbert, because the only time I drink rum is on vacation. Well, you're on vacation. Bring the rum. Um, I, can't, I can't keep doing this. Oh, my God. I can't. I really can't. I'll take this one. OK. <laughs> oh They're my all God. labeled. That's rum They're punch. They're fake, right? Are they? Let's see if they are. That's real. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! But this you is don't normally. Turn into my whole thing. I'm not this big of a drinker. I'm when I'm on a on a press tour, I really drink a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only on a press tour. Yeah, but like if I'm working and like filming, then no. I can't sound like I'm like you know <laughs> like this every night. No. Well, you wouldn't be able to because mm -hmm. uh, you're you're very professional. No, but press and tours. It's the only way to make it through. Yeah. So um, let's talk about Gail some more. Okay. While, while you drink that. Um, Gail's a lovely, she's got a heart of gold. You uh -huh. know? Can we show just, a picture of Gail? Because uh, she does look very there different. There she is. There is my girl. So that's Zoom how, in, please. Th that's how you normally look. And then Gail is, what is the difference First there? First of all, that's not how I ignore, oh my God. Look, I was trying to look cute. I was like having, getting photographed with all my like girlfriends on the beach. Like I wanted to look cute. And look, what, I can't even repeat it. Like. I, it's, it's, my whole face is just crooked. It's a, it's a different face. Yeah. That's not your normal smile. No, I hope not. No. I mean, it might be. I don't know. No. But the hair, too, just so presidential. Yeah. <laughs> what happens? So you become braver. You, you go into shark-infested waters. I'll just give you, like, five seconds of gale. So okay. from there, we went conch diving. We pull up the conch, and the guy driving our boat goes, look, they all have little worms. I took it out of his hand and swallowed it, and then pulled the worms out of all the conks and swallowed all the worms. And some of my friends are like, kind of laughing, but they're like, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then we pull up and he's like, and this is where the fishermen clean all the, all the fish out. You know, so there's all these sharks here. And I was like, sack! I just jumped <laughs> in. And everyone's like, somebody get her some water and coffee. She's uh, going to die. Wow. Um, it was just like one masculine, like, a, what, is that, what are those people called? Adrenaline, Adrenaline junkies? Junkie. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm normally like pretty cautious. Uh-huh. I've never you really broken like that. You sit like that? <laughs> wow. In my real life. And then I, I get rum in me, and I'm just like, let's arm wrestle. Uh-huh. So, because usually if you drink vodka, you don't, you don't become Gale? It's only rum? I'm trying to think what I drank at your birthday. Vodka. Okay. I think, you, I think you did. Yeah, and that did something but, else, but not Gale. But I think, I think someone was passing a tra I think it was Reese walking around with a tray of tequila shots, though. So I don't know if you did that. I probably knock the tray over. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I, all I know is after five minutes, me and Jennifer Aniston had our arms around each other. No, I love you the most. <laughs> no, you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> we were just like, <laughs> nostrils flared. Wow. Really I love her. Uh, <laughs> and she loves you. I love a lot of uh. people at your party. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so what kind of drunk was this on? Uh, this Punch. was a red carpet, and I want to know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! What? No! Oh, oh God, it was okay. so awful. OK, in my defense, please take her away. Oh, my but God. That's oh, my God. That's not Gail, right? No, that's someone else. I just met her the other night. I feel like her name ends with an E. <laughs> um, or like Veronica E or something. I don't know. So what happened was I did Andy Cohen. I was drinking a lot of wine. And then, um, and then I went to Colbert, tried to sober up. I was like drinking coffee. And I was like, uh-oh, I got too drunk with the housewives, which is something I've always dreamt of saying. So I was like, I got too drunk with the housewives trying to drink coffee, and then he pulls out shots of Brahm in the middle of the show. Then I have to go to the premiere, and I am hammered. <laughs> and so I get on the red carpet, and I'm like, don't look drunk. <laughs> don't look drunk. And then I look like I've been electrified. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, my god. That was you trying not to look drunk? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been better just to look drunk, yeah. I think. I think, I, I think my nipple was out, too. It was just all sorts of awful. I don't think your nipple's out. Is that your being said, I really think um, drinking is a good idea for me. I, yeah. I, I, good way to get through a pressure. Yeah. Also. No, it, it worked out. I'm telling you, I love this movie so much. And it Thanks. just it gets very, very exciting. And that scene at the end is like, insane. Um, but tell everyone what it's about. Um, I play a prima ballerina, don't get me started. Um, and then I, I have a career ending injury and I get kind of forced into the, the, um, the Russian version of the CIA, the SBR, and I go to a program that is based on reality. This book was written by a, a spy um, where young men and women are trained in the psychological manipulation um, and in sex. Um, and then I prevail by using my mind. Yes, it's really, really and clever. And my accent. Yeah, <laughs> and, you, and you kind of, when it ends, you look back and you go, ah, and it kind of helps you uh, follow that path of how yeah, you got that's there. that's key. <laughs> yes, um, or else we'd be like, what? <laughs> um, so uh, you're naked in this film, mm -hmm. and you've always said that you would not do that. Yeah. Um, and uh, tell everyone why you made that choice. I finally get, just got hot. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you heard that Nelly song and you yeah. took off your clothes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I just, it was like, it was really an amazing script and story. To me, I loved the character, and I just, I just didn't want to miss out on it because of like my weird insecurities. Um, so I did it. And on the day, it was really lovely. I had been... It was the first day, right? Your no, first... it wasn't the first day oh. of shooting. Oh. That would have been insane. I thought it was. Hello! <laughs> um, no, I mean, most of the guys I've all known, like, from Hunger Games, which I think makes it better. Everyone um, on the set, the crew. Yeah, all of the crew. Yeah. They were all from Hunger Games. But they were really nice, and they all went in at, like, 3 in the morning to set up heaters, because it was, like, a very Hungarian winter. And I was always complaining about being cold. And so I came in, and it was like so toasty and warm. And I was like, what are you doing with this heat? My nipples are going to be huge. <laughs> Everyone's like, I don't, what does she want? <laughs> <laughs> we can't win with her. Yeah, the crew was uh, like, Jen, you can't diet anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you did uh, 60 Minutes, uh, in, uh, and you live in my old home. Yes. And it was so fun to watch what you've done with my home, because I like it. it oh, looks, you do? I love okay. it. Yeah, it looks great. Um, and they, your friends, uh, Surprised you with a self-portrait. Yeah, my friends are total jerks. They're why, the worst. Why was that so embarrassing to you? Uh, okay. I mean, um, you got... It was humiliating. This is why it was embarrassing to me. So my mom comes over to my house, and she has this painting, and I haven't seen it yet. And she goes, I just have to tell you something about... Oh, my God, please. Oh, my God, it's so embarrassing. My mom thought this was a masterpiece. She said it was worth easily $3 million. And my friend, Justine, the Italian one, was um, was there for this, for my mom saying, this is an absolute masterpiece. And me being like, mom, please just throw it in the garbage. Like, please, can we just, it's, it's not a masterpiece. How old were you it's when not. you painted it? I was like, I don't know, 16. I was way too old to paint. I'm not, I'm not an artist. <laughs> and, um, and so my friend was there and clocked it, and I knew that that was bad. So I hid it in my garage, and she found it the day that 60 Minutes was coming. And, you know, like, 60 Minutes is coming. I'm, like, so nervous. I'm like, what are you guys going to talk about? What are you going to say? And they're like, come on. And then they go and do something like that. Well, I think it, I thought it was really good. I thought it was really good. So we have a surprise <laughs> oh, for no. you. So let's let's uh, show everyone. Where, let's go outside. Um, um, no, <laughs> no, that's not real. Thanks. That's not real, right? Is that real? <laughs> I don't know. It would be magic. Oh my God! Look at the nose. Look at the lips. Three million dollars. Yeah. That. <laughs>
Is a master, okay. That's a masterpiece. <laughs> All right. It's starting to feel like some sort of pawn. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're back with Jennifer Lawrence, and uh, we are going to play one of my favorite games. It's called Burning Questions, but today we're going to call it Jennifer's Law. If you could only drink one cocktail for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mm. Scotch on the rocks? Really? No, gin martini. <laughs> really? Dark and stormy? What's that? I don't know what it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna say uh, a red wine. That's what I'll say. It's not a cocktail, otherwise I would have said red wine too. Okay, I am so sorry. I will say tequila. You okay with that? Gin. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a better kisser, Liam Hensworth or Bradley Cooper? Um, Close your eyes and try to remember. <laughs> Bradley? <laughs> Bradley, okay. And I don't know. If you could only watch one reality show for the rest of your life, which one would it be? I think I know. Do you want to say it at the same time as me? Yeah. Vanderpump Housewives. Rules. Oh, what is it? Yeah, see, close. What is it? Vanderpump Rules. Oh, Vanderpump I, Rules. I don't know. They've really gotten up and taken... They're, they're, they're killing it. Yeah. You've called yourself a hypochondriac. Uh, what was the last illness you uh, were sure that you had? Um, a stroke. It wasn't like a disease, but I thought I was having a stroke. What, what were the symptoms? Just a headache. <laughs> <laughs> I love me on rum. <laughs> when you're alone, what do you talk to your dog about? We talk about how we're going to go for walkies. Um, we talk about how if she ever sees a coyote, run to mom. Um, we talk about... <laughs> We mostly talk about walkies and bones and how, how good of a girl she is. She's such a good girl. <laughs> Pippi, if you're watching, you're a very good girl. <laughs> All right, the game is over because I am saying thank you to people now. So that's the end of the game. You want me to do it? Yeah. I want to thank Jennifer, Megan Trainer, <laughs> Lindsey Vaughn, and Laverne Cox. Have a wonderful weekend. That's how it was spelled. Be kind to one another. Goodbye.